Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So, we're going to be taking out the Slingers again today. If you remember last time I played Slingers, we took them out with Miltiades, who's kind of been my de facto Slinger commander for well, every time I've played Slingers. Not that I'm a massive Slinger player by any means, but when I do play them, I play them in Miltiades. Um, but of course, with the recent hunt changes, or I think it's not last patch, but the patch before, giving them the minus 20 missile block chance, it's kind of introduced sort of a new way for hunt to be effective plus they also increase the targeting the base targeting range of hunt so it's a little bit more applicable i'm not quite sure how long its range is going to be whether it's going to be as effective in terms of reaching out as i want it to be but maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know um so we'll give that a try but i think yeah i think kanane is probably now going to be the slightly better slinger commander or is certainly now a much more viable slinger commander over and above um, what she was before so we'll kind of see how we get on, um, and just sort of see if we can cause a bit of damage with these guys. So I shall see you all in the battle. So we are loading into Marathon with our Kanade Slingers. Uh, looks like we're in a high tier game. Uh, lots of artillery around. It didn't look like there's a lot, an awful lot of artillery actually, but not a lot of in the way of other ranged. So um, yeah, see how we get on. See how we get on. See what we encounter. Obviously, as I said, start running with Kanade now. Um, it seems the more logical thing to do with the hunt changes, we must much, take their base from uh, them compared to Milty. Obviously, to you're going to get less wins. movement speed because you only get the only movement speed buff you're going to get is this little bit of rapid advance, and it's not particularly Wait, great at this tier. As you get into higher tiers with Kanani, it does get a lot better in terms of you know the long lastingness of it. So we'll see how that plays out. Looks like some of our artillery is already being pretty hyper aggressive. Push up, pushing up with these armored legion is mostly for the infantry support. Going across the middle of the map is always a bit of a risk, so I didn't didn't kind of want to do that. But oh, I'd love to shoot them. Please. We have a little bit behind that. Oh, obviously, do what I just said I should be doing. Oh, good good amount of volley damage there. You can see how much damage these slingers can do if you start shooting like the enough sufficiently vulnerable targets. And it's really quite impressive. Um, the sort of damage they get. Oh, we're out of range actually on our on our um, on our hunt. I guess that's one of the limitations of slingers at this tier. The hunt is actually significantly shorter than the range of the slingers. I hadn't actually considered that before I started. Um, I'm gonna have to. These guys are probably coming for me. I'm assuming. Annihilate them! Should be in range of the hunt now. We are. Taking a bit of a risk here, you know, because obviously you know we're running into. Uh, increasing the chances of them coming after me because I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. Although, <laughs> maybe they're not. I'm going to pull that for these stakes, basically, is my plan. Yeah, I haven't left that too late. I don't think we have. Not with the amount of damage we can get off at them. Um, time to actually deal with that sort of situation. I hope slightly gamey to be playing on the stakes like this. Oh, I'm a little bit through that gap, actually. Ooh, run to the Roman infantry. Save me! <laughs> He said stop. Just keep moving. Um, and let's just turn around and fire. Whoosh. We're going to cause a little bit of friendly fire here, but it's worth it. Uh, as long as we don't kill too many of our own uh, artillery crew. There we go. And they're dead. And that is a whole player out of the game. That is, you know, kind of not only the splinter slingers, but also the weakness more of the, the, the barbarian infantry. The, the barbarian cavalry this tier, they don't have the shields. So they've got lily low body armor. So vulnerable in that sort of situation. So you can see how much damage you can actually apply with these guys. They're not just that weak in terms of not just really weak weapon damage units. So, you know, they are more than that. So what have we got up here? Some archers and a... Da -da -da -da, some Hastati. And a few rocks at them. Worried about enemy cavalry, but having said that, was that all the enemy cavalry actually dead? Maybe I'm worrying about nothing. Oh, they're turning the back on me. That'll give me a bit of damage there. Oh, dear. it's so brutal if you turn your back to those slingers because obviously the weapon damage is lower than that of archers, but it's still 152. You no, know, you turn your back on it and they will do damage to you. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to easily get to those Greeks. I could go with the forest, but then I will get the you know the forest penalties associated with that. It's not so good for me. I'm thinking maybe the artillery crew is going to be my next target. Is if it's going to present a clean shot. From range. There we go. It should do good damage. It does. 
Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be enough. If I can get another hit on them, I'll get them into wavering. Ah, they've pulled back. Damn! I wanted to get them into the wavering state, then the nuke damage would have been enough to uh, get them to route. But not to be, not to worry. We still do good damage, and we drove them off their artillery pieces, which obviously is important for us. Um, oh, we can't get clean hits there. Oh, there we go, a little bit more. These won't do much damage. Yeah, we're just doing base penetration there, you see. Uh, one more pull in and stop, because we're going to start clipping friendly units there, which we do. Okay. Can these guys get any spots on the enemy archers for me? Particularly this cavalry here. Because it looks like those archers were shooting at our own units there. So if they're getting close enough to the edge of the forest... Uh, I sense an opportunity. Go on. No, don't go for them. Go for the archers. Please. Let's just have a go. Focus fire! Like that. <laughs> oh, we nuked one of him. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's hunt this guy so we can keep tracks of him. And also because we want to do the... It will reduce his missile block chance. Minus 20, I think, still at this tier. Yep, yeah, it is. We are at risk of those archers moving up on us, but I'm going to go on the assumption that they know that I'm here. Even now with this Testudo, he's still hunted, so he's going to take... Yeah, he's even taking, what, 370 damage, even in Testudo. Because, obviously, his missile block chance is dropping sufficiently low because we're adding that 20 from Hunt, which is what makes it kind of effective. Onward! Move over this way. There's this light artillery with architects here. Oh, wow. Definitely heading back. Um, ah. Those elephants. Bad. Um, I'm going to put a base warning in chat. Um, there's no easy way with this. Uh, did we have elephants ourselves? I thought we did. Or oh, they completely over this side of the map. Okay, so it's going to be, have to just add to the infantry to deal with these Surus. We're still quite a powerful premium unit. Um, actually, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking I might do another review on these. I actually had these ages ago when they first came out. Um, and they were really ridiculously overpowered. But they have since been nerfed a lot since then. Man, I don't know what they're like in the current meta. Whether they're still any good or not. Uh, so let's have a look at them at some point in the video. So let's take a heading back towards base, see if we can get working for a decap or, or, or be in a position to prevent to get a decap because our infantry are not going to be in any position to do it. Hopefully our artillery are going to be able to set up um, to try and do something. Artillery is doing a good job actually really of hitting these elephants because they're the main threat. But you know we've still got all these um, Leo spearmen to deal with, which is going to be uh, tough. Okay, we've got a unit of armor fusion there. Nice, that's important. Uh, they've not got any cavalry or anything, so it does give us a relatively good position in that sense. But these guys here, obviously, who are going to go into Testudo. We'll get an early shot off them just to keep reset the decap. Going to allow me to? Nope, can't get a shot there. Um, our cavalry is going in. Uh, a little bit worried about the friendly fire implications of this shot. We must cease fire. Um, it was worth it. There. We just caught a bit. Go for that unit of oh, spearmen at the back. Right in the back. Oh, oh, oh devastating. That's so powerful when you can get units shot in the back like that. Got to keep an eye on our own units, make sure nothing's sneaking around us. But doing this like this is just lovely. Look at that. Such uh, brilliant damage for us. Okay, what else have we got to shoot at? Probably these guys here right in front of us. Let's get our hunt on to get their missile blocked down so they take more damage from us frontally. These are all Leo Spears, so we're not going to worry too much um, in terms of their ability to catch us because they shouldn't be able to. These guys want to chase us down as well. It looks like they do, you know, doesn't it? That's the case. That's fine. I'm happy to happy to uh, f facilitate that. Maybe if they're going to turn their testudo off like that. Artemis, aid us! One more, and then let's pull back. Okay. Onward. Slingers. Uh, let's try and keep ourselves out of forest directly. Get you into the long grass and start you firing off on them. Um, who are we going to hunt them probably? You get you moving. A little bit of micro going on here. A little bit intense on the micro front. But our artillery is also doing a good job of keeping damage in. This works really nicely with slingers because you can, you've got such range ability as well. Whoosh. Um, everyone's hunts on cooldown. 
keep your damage on him if you can. Lovely, nice, accurate shooting, just whittling down these people. They're not capping us out on base too much anymore. We've done enough to get the resets done. Oops, don't stop on the end there if you can, please. And then we'll bring you around this way. And there we go. Thus, thus endeth the lesson on <laughs> how to kill Roman infantry when they're trying to catch you with slingers. It's kind of one of the benefits of oh, Canales. That hunting works really nicely. Get everyone to shoot on there. Oh, one of them can't get clean shots. There we go. One to go. Three hit points. Nearly make it. Okay. Uh, everything around here appears to be dead. Their elephants seem to be dead. And they've only got base left. So, onwards. Um, well, we're going to get there and be able to do anything in time. I would not like to say. Oh, the poor elephant is doomed, surely. Yeah, he's not going to survive that lot, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, I suppose those archers don't just turn and fire a quick folly into him. It'd be enough to kill him. Literally, like, a couple of arrows. There he goes. Let's keep our uh, rapid advance on if we can. Still a few artillery crews and stuff kicking around that we may be able to get some hits on. I don't know where all our points are coming from, because we've got actually don't have any infantry left. I guess all our points are being added up from, well, these guys over here, and then all these um, artillery crews, to be honest. <laughs> we seem to be winning so clearly, yet we don't have any infantry. It's all artillery. Um, that's a, a smidgen careful then, just to make sure we don't do anything too stupid, because if we manage to lose all our units, then maybe we could be in trouble. So we'll just play it a little bit safe. Got this game in the bag. Let's not throw it away doing anything stupid. It wouldn't be the first time I would have done such such a silly thing like that. Keep cycling our rapid advance. It's really painfully on the cooldown on this tier. Only 13 seconds. It's so It feels so long between each time you get to use it. Oh! Like that. You know when I say it would be silly to throw it away and do something stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm such a moron. Right. I.e. Beware stakes. Okay. There's a few more there as well. I don't really want to have to try and break them down. There we go. Jeez. Uh, we also know they've still got that light artillery. I don't know if we're going to get spots from this... Um, oh, we'll be a bit careful of these. Proven warriors, they'll do a lot of damage to us. They are prey. Um, them. I'm thinking about pulling back already, to be honest. Uh, let's go for it. Back, back we go. Um, those proven warriors are going to be fast. What are they with? Uh, Arminius. Oh dear. Okay, now we're in trouble. Um, what are we going to pull back to? Those uh, infantry over there. We're going to start to split ourselves already because he's only got two and we've got three units. But we're going to be generally making our way in a sort of proverbial retreat up to our friendly infantry here. And just see which route he takes. And if one of them gets an opportunity, then we'll start to turn and shoot. But depending on how he splits his forces is how I'm going to react. Um, it looks like this one's probably going to be the first safe one. A volley off there. I say, come on. You doing? God, that took a long time, didn't it? Rapid advance. Pull you around there. Onward. Quickly. Slay them. And turn you back around there. Slingers. Destroy. Just microing my units carefully. Ourselves that way to avoid the bulk of his charge. Slingers. Pull both those units back this way. No Oops! Ah, oh, a bit of inattentiveness there. Idiot. I'm not quite sure where this guy would not turn to help us. That just seems kind of petulantly unhelpful on purpose. Yeah, trying to avoid his charge. We're now grouping ourselves back up again, not really intentionally. We're sort of being herded somewhat like sheep. Like, why wouldn't? Uh, why would you not turn and help us? He's at least going to catch one of those units of Bob Nice. Nice job, my man. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, those infantry have really caught those barbarians there. That's nice for us. Um, we'll push this unit around here. And you two are going to turn and volley. Like that. And try and get some good damage in now. Yeah, that's it. Keep the volley fire on. Try not to cause too much friendly fire if we can help it. I think he's got one unit left. Cease fire with you. It's going to hurt his artillery crew. Sorry, but it was worth it. Okay, well, we escaped. That was not an ideal situation for some significant length of time there. Oh, we can fit a, that friendly fire. 
Oh, that friendly fire. Okay, enemy archers. Guys, a bit of a non-stop game, this. As I said, yeah, it was it was likely to be won, but it could go wrong, as I say, and it nearly did there for a bit. This is going to hurt them. Oh, ho, ho. that is what you do not want to face off against Slingers. That is pretty much their entire unit uh, decimated in a couple of volleys there. And obviously, with the strain, you know, it gives you, what, 10%, I think, extra range? Uh, well, that's focus fire. With the strain, 15% uh, missile range. It's really high. Um, so you can see this, the colossal range. We were about here, like right at the back, and we were able to shoot all the way down to here. So uh, you've got to be careful as archers fighting slingers because slingers clearly have the advantage against other range units. And if they use it, you'll go down pretty fast. So we've not been able to do too badly so far this game. Uh, let's get a quick shot there. Whether they're changing direction. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Um, I'd like to get range, range of this light artillery if I could. I'm going to wait for it. We've got 28 seconds. You see, I'm trying to time this, right? Destroy. Wait for the first volley to go off. Focus fire! Focus fire. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> they got killed in the first volley. Okay. Sling of power. Nice job, Kanane. Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep pushing ourselves up. And this is... Uh, obviously, it's that hunt, really, that's... Is that better than... The speed, extra speed to get the milkyators, and that's kind of what you're going to weigh up when you can see the two commanders really. Uh, it's kind of that, that balance between the two. I, obviously, for a long time, I've always used milkyators, preferred milkyators, and even after the chariot patch initially, I s continued to play with milkyators. Um, um, preferred milky, just for the speed, but now I've actually started playing with Kanane properly. I think Kanane is kind of superior. That that hunt is pretty nice. Pretty good for decapping if you need it. You need to throw in a decap, you know, that minus 20 missile block chance is normally enough to lower, you know, fight in the shade to studio, shield screen, whatever it is, just but enough below 100. So you can just get, even if it's just 20 damage in, that's all you need to get a decap. Um, so pretty critical in that sort of situations. I think in the higher tiers, it's actually going to get nicer because you're going to get a lot more range out of it because they increased its base range. Um, but you've got to consider at this tier, you know, it's still not got full targeting range. It gets quite a lot more targeting range at tiers 7s and 8s. Um, I really want to get onto the tier 8 slingers. I'm going to cut across probably from the tier 8 Pontic archers because the tier 8 slingers just look like an absolute beast. Um, so we'll be getting across to them at some point. But yeah, I think probably Kanane is the new archer commander to have. Uh, but I think Milti also still works well, but probably Kanane is the better choice now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Total War Arena content and I shall see you all on the next video.